just the magical nature of this place, just walking through this place, all of you, someday in the next few years, you must make this trip to Hampi. It is one of the most magical places. Uh, there is a Tungabhadra river, today it is dammed. These are Tunga and Badra. This was the main source of uh, agricultural wealth for this nation because Vijayanagar Empire was one of the few which learned how to irrigate land from the rivers. This, between these two rivers is what Vijayanagar Empire is. But today, these two rivers have merged and there is a dam which is called as Tunga and Badra, Tungabhadra Dam, which irrigates large tracts of uh, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. These two share states enjoy this water. And this is also a very rich mining place. This is very rich iron ore and uh, a whole lot of uh, the place's wealth right now comes from mining. Gold mining is also close by and uh, <clears throat> there are many sages and saints who settled in this place in the past, many yogis. Raghavendra is one of the most celebrated sages of this area. Madhvacharya had a big influence in this area. Vidyaranya is a kind of a inspiration behind Vijayanagar kingdom. Above all, the engineering, the aesthetic. There is a place that uh, Krishna Devaraya built. One thing is the Virupaksha temple, which is a fantastic place. Another is a temple with the musical columns, uh, just columns like this, much thinner. If you just do this, there are seven columns which which bring out seven notes of the music. Just with your knuckles, if you do this, it brings out those things. Probably, we will put in the archive uh, those things. But these days. They're not letting you knock it because too many people are knocking it down. But uh, actually, I have been there in the past, you can actually get seven notes in seven different columns just by tapping with your knuckles. <clears throat> Any amount of things we can say about this, unless you really drink in this place, this is not a place that you just... like a tourist you come and go, this is something that you have to really soak it in, it's something that grows upon you very slowly and uh, it's a very... it's a... Uh, you'll get stoned by this beauty, it's full of stones <laughs> They want to show you the shots of the temple, I hope it works. Krishna Devaraya uh, was a great uh, sponsor and uh, admirer of art and music, particularly the classical dancers. And uh, one of the highlights of his life is uh, that he was deeply in romantic engagement with uh, uh, a dancer who was called Nagala Devi. And uh, he built a whole city for her. Initially, the, the, the present or the Vijayanagar uh, was essentially called Nagala Puri. It was built for her. So this was his expression of romance and you will see dancers carved all over the uh, place and uh, everywhere you'll see images of uh, dancers because he was a great admirer of dance and music. And during his time, uh, these art forms evolved in a big way. You see the rocks, uh, the whole place is with, uh, you know, with these kind of uh, rocks everywhere. You see the Virupaksha temple tower behind us. Uh, this is something you must show on the camera, this rock and this temple here. So, you will see many niches like this, small, small temples built into the rocks. So, during his time, uh, art and music developed in a big way. He was also... Uh, it is during his time because he went down south and uh, he also ruled the Tamil Nadu, what is presently Tamil Nadu. Uh, the Siddha Vaidya evolved in a big way and a great admirer of this uh, traditional this thing and uh, they say that the battles that he fought, the injuries and things uh, to handle the, you know, uh, the battle wounds of his soldiers, they developed uh, thousands and thousands of Siddha and Ayurveda doctors who treated the injured soldiers and uh, the level of recovery that they had is supposed to be way beyond what other armies could afford because he had developed 
thousands of doctors who could treat his uh, soldiers and uh, there's a whole lot of uh, information about how uh, amputations were handled and how uh, deep injuries and severed limbs were fixed and by the Siddha doctors. All these columns standing here for over four hundred years or five hundred years and speaking their own language. There's a whole lot of restoration going on. They had… Uh, they say that this was the largest market on the planet at one time, running for over the marketplace, one stretch. Uh, uh, I think I can show you that. You see those two-storied columns there, can you see that? Uh, this is the marketplace running for about uh, two and a half miles on both sides of the street and uh, two-storied marketplace running right across with about uh, uh, eighty to hundred feet wide road in the center. They said this was the largest marketplace on the planet for those days. Thank you very much for all of you being on this journey with me and uh, here we are. <laughs>